What is up guys, Mr. The Reverts here, and today we got another game settings update in Black Ops 4. We got a couple of nerfs and buffs that I want to talk about, plus an update on the next big multiplayer weapons tuning update. So, let's go ahead and get started. So in today's game settings update, we got a buff to the Thresher where the fire rate and projectile speed have been increased, which was kind of an issue for me too. Like I feel you'll get on average like maybe three to five kills if that with the Thresher. And for that being the third highest streak in the game, it's just not acceptable to me, which is why I quit running it to begin with. I do love how hard it is to shoot down, but still you will probably get more kills with the attack chopper or even the Mantis definitely. But now after this update the thresher is a little bit better with landing projectiles faster onto the map um, but again I'm still not going to be using it all that much I get way more use out of the mantis and then for our next score streak buff was for the sniper's nest we got a buff to the duration and also for the fire rate now the fire rate to me is really noticeable but I haven't really used the sniper's nest all that much at all since the game has came out but I, I have a few times here and there and from my calculations the sniper's nest is gonna last about a minute and 20 seconds which is an okay time I feel but again I'm still not a big fan of these snipers nests mainly because everybody right now is out shooting air support so I get way more use out of the mantis and personally I think that's the second best score streak in the game next up guys we got a nerf to the acoustic sensor detection range and I have the new length on screen for you guys this is how far an enemy player can be before they won't be picked up on your radar the acoustic sensor to me is is a very underrated gear but after this range nerf I still feel it's pretty dang solid it's not like it's completely useless and I'm gonna have a full dedicated video to the acoustic sensor and what it can do you guys definitely don't want to miss out on that um, but yeah on screen like I said is the new range at which you'll start to pick up an enemy player um, I have a full guide coming out to the acoustic sensor and just yeah I cannot wait to post that for you guys and then also here we have a few fixed map exploits on Morocco where players could easily get underneath the map that glitch has now been fixed however there still is one that's plaguing me so much on arsenal right now that's a pretty dang popular glitch and it's really easy to do and Treyarch is aware of that one and hopefully it's going to be fixed here uh, within the next game settings update and then for our next section we're going to be talking about the uh, miscellaneous stuff which is general stability across multiplayer blackout and then zombies and then also here there was an issue with the black market where the incorrect animation played after a match in which the player did not rank up and then next up here for the creative class there was an issue where reactive camos were not appearing correctly in the creative class menu and they also updated unlock requirement text for the mx9 reactive camo but that's pretty much it for the most important fixes in multiplayer but now for blackout both the nine bang and the cluster grenade got a nerf because you can now only stack a total of one of each a lot of people have been complaining about how strong the nine bang is in blackout plus the cluster grenade and i feel holding on to two it wasn't a big issue for me personally but now that it's one I'm still okay with it that's not really gonna affect me too much and now the nine bang takes about two seconds to charge up and then the fuse time is coming in around 1.20 seconds and uh, so yeah that's for blackout we also got a reduced dead silence duration to 120 seconds to match awareness and then for some other miscellaneous stuff for blackout they resolved an issue where multiplayer custom games were not working properly after after leaving a blackout match and opening a custom multiplayer lobby. Um, we do have some zombie stuff there. I'm not really going to cover that too, too much because I'm not really a zombies channel here. But they're also currently tracking and following the recent topics, which are the prestige custom classes. They say we're aware that custom class 8 and beyond are currently not functioning properly for players who have reached prestige 2 or higher. And we're working on fixing this in an upcoming update. And then for the MP challenge bugs, they say we've seen reports on a handful of multiplayer challenges that aren't tracking properly. We're investigating and we will resolve this in the future update so that's pretty much it for multiplayer and blackout guys they also say here that there's another big in-game update for all the weapon tunings for multiplayer and that kind of stuff 
It's going to be coming here next week, so be on the lookout for that, guys. We also have some improvements to the audio for Blackout and just a whole lot more. I cannot wait to see what's going to be in store for us with this update. And again, this is coming next week. I assume on Tuesday, but I'm still not entirely sure. Um, I would like to see it go live maybe on the weekend because that's usually when everybody can get the most playtime, etc. So... Uh, but yeah, that's what it is. So guys, tell me your thoughts about all these updates down below in the comments. What are your thoughts? And are you excited for that next big in-game update coming next week? And yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Till next time, I'll see you later.